Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Modding. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at um, a random nodes in Spreadshop, and the node name is uh, called uh, Waffle. So let's just have a look at Waffle. So this node seems to be simple enough. It takes a couple of inputs, and it's gonna give uh, vertices, edges. Uh, but this node is um, one of the nodes that I think it's a little bit difficult to use. Uh, in fact, uh, you need to read some kind of documentations and actually look at the example uh, node tree setup that uh, Spreadshop developers provided. So Waffle, if you ever find a mysterious node, you can try um, browse the online documentations and it's gonna take you to Waffle documentations um, it tells you this node makes section possible to make manufactured waffle structure. So waffle structure, that's the key. Um, there is actually a waffle minimal dot JSON. Uh, that means there's an example supplied, and it explains everything. But uh, it's hard to understand un until you look at uh, the example. So there's the uh, this diagram. Uh, you can try to rebuild it, but uh, um, there is uh, actually the JSON, so waffle minimal JSON, so we can actually open this. But before we go there, um, this is waffle, right? This is a waffle, and I type it like this uh, on and search Google image, and this is what we get. Waffle, you can see waffle structure is basically kind of like uh, you are slicing a volume, and you get um, some kind of 3D structure. And the more correct... Uh, name is uh, this kind of waffle structure so instead of typing it waffle uh, this is waffle and this is exactly uh, that's a really good example I saw actually a um, sculpture that's kind of similar to this the other day at the sculpture by the sea in Sydney and it, it was made by metal and this one is actually one uh, this really good example as well and you can create this using uh, the stretch of node tree. Um, so yeah, let's try building something like this. So this node is not useful, but look at the example. So we actually have a lot of example here by default. This one, um, the motion, this one actually will give you a surprise. I'll let you look at it yourself. The one that we want is the waffle. waffle is architecture related so there you go waffle minimal i just load it so this is what we get oh that's a there's a little bit of funkiness happening with the nodes just the placement we can just drag this using g and then place it in the correct positions so we can kind of start it to guess what this does so let's save this so this is minimal minimal waffle and let's read this this layout completely was developed by Nikitron Nikitron is the developer of these nodes I think Zephy translated simple math that makes possible manufacturing from 3D okay so this is what we get by default we have some kind of random vector we can scale it up and down so that's kind of like a just this is just a bunch of points and the convex hull will actually generate these shapes right because it's a it's random vector and then there's a convex hull this is this is what we get so that's pretty cool in itself but then it gonna go through and then uh, we're gonna find our waffle structure over here so that's this is the interesting part there's a I think there's a you call it vertical and horizontal slicer and there is also this uh, some kind of thickness I think the thickness will define the that guy over there see if you make like a waffle structure you need to kind of connect connect it together if you bake the result this is just a quick demonstration so you're gonna have this line and you start you can already start to guess see from the top it looks like waffle but uh, for each um, of this outline 
if I fill it, I just go to edit mode and then fill edit mode. Hit tab edit mode and then tab F. Do the same thing for the other section. So you start to see where this one is going. And yeah, currently it's like super super thin. But you can select all of this and then and then assign a solidify and then control L and then link the modifier so we have all some kind of thickness so this is the basic one it really just uh, from the convex hull of the random points uh, and it's gonna go through all this process there's a lot of things going on here but you, you can kind of deconstruct it and then try to guess what's actually happening so there are two two uh, two sections and so we have cross sections all this kind of uh, weirdness you can try rebuild this and then understand it a little bit better and there's also this thing okay section matrices that part is a little bit hard but uh, uh the spectral developer take care of it for you there's even this guy over here where you can control the the section this is actually really really cool and super handy not uh you can create a uh, you can use sphere as a source but you can also try using something like torus for example or a donut okay so we have a basic donut what if we just objects in and then just source the donut so get selection so we have the torus instead of using convex hull just replace it with our torus object so this is what we get so we have the cross section happening what you might need to do some kind of tweaking until uh, the bounding box is kind of nicely placed so that that's a little bit better and then you can increase the number of sections for our waffle structure so i i test this with um, all kind of different shapes even like uh, i try with uh, like a uh, objects that i scan um, using iphone 10 uh, just you know like normal head I scan and then it's it's kind of work there's a little bit of uh, hiccup sometimes um, but let's try you can also use like a meta ball for example so this is normal meta ball let's just make it about the size of our torus so we know that it's gonna work with our it's already working with our torus how about meta balls meta balls also let's try objects in get selection post modifier and just replace this with our meta ball so spare chalk will actually do some kind of conversion um well i might be wrong i might need to do some kind of remeshing or it's a little bit too complicated okay maybe that's a little bit too complex Let's reopen this. It's better to maybe convert it into mesh or something. It should work though. Um, maybe I should try like a like a scan. Um, this head boolean. Okay, this is my head. Delete the cube. Okay, I have my head. Copy file open recent minimal waffle so let's try this head first this head that like, I'll scale it so it kind of fits the bounding box also and freeze the scale and freeze the rotations get the selection so that's the head put it into this guy hopefully it works uh, it seems to be it's failing or it's not calculating yet ah, probably it's not calculating properly this index out of range okay maybe the the problem is with this number let's try minus 0.5 and
okay four so now it's starting to take the shape of the head somehow so it works for just in one direction make this 20 I actually managed to get it to work I think maybe I need to give this a uh, smaller number minus 6 or minus 4 it needs to fit the bounding I think the bounding box of the head okay didn't work didn't work yet but uh almost but at least we got that shapes working it, it it actually try hard to generate uh, these shapes maybe this one is a bit com too complicated so delete the torus this meta ball should work I'm pretty sure on that let's try this so meta ball is always a little bit funky maybe I should convert it to mesh so now this guy is a mesh so get selection meta ball all right so like i said it might need to be centered okay set origin to geometry and this guy just place it within the bounding box i think this is like minus four to four unit get selection refresh still doesn't work let's reopen file save as ah uh, okay seems like it's still not happy somehow yeah this is this is the thing where it's kind of you kind of need to try to make it work maybe it's too small Let's try again. Control A. Apply the scaling. Dimension seems like it, uh, it's fitting like minus six to six. Bounding box. Minus six to six. Okay, I was still kind of wrong. Not happy. But I tried this many many times. It it went. Uh, eventually, it will work. Maybe it needs to be smaller. Or I need to rotate it. Control A, rotation, scale, and then refresh. Still not happy. It seems to be failing here. So I increase the number. Still nothing. So that's a little bit weird. Maybe I need to remesh it. get selection post modifier if it's still failing I have example where it's already working so I have this one metaball okay this one is a good example I'm actually just using a cylinder and yeah you see the structure is working um, there is no different with the previous one I just gonna copy this one and reopen the previous scene delete this delete everything paste this guy oh this is upside down okay get selection see this one also some somehow failing maybe there's something weird happening just reload the example waffle minimal and we have this by the way, if you if you want to save the node setup in Spectrum, you can just export it. Um, export it as zip, I think, or export to gist. But that will save the JSON that generates the node tree. So we are back to this guy. Use objects in. Get selection our cylinder. This one has a 
subserve okay turn on post this should work you see uh, I don't know maybe there is a bug maybe there was a bug so if you somehow set it up until um, until it gives error so it doesn't work anymore but uh, now you see it's working and then if I try to use my head it should also work there's a bit of gacha I, I save a lot so you might notice that so this head should be around the size of that cylinder and in theory it should work control A rotation oh uh, okay rotation scale get selection ideally it should generate the cross section okay I think it's failing okay it doesn't like it doesn't like the head now it's not giving error okay so it seems to be pretty happy with this guy but I actually managed to make it to work with the head just with uh, there's a couple of uh, glitch but uh, easily to it's easy to fix once you get it working of course see so now it's a uh, it's not working because it seems like I went over the bounding box so that's the tricky part it seems to like a smaller number better so yeah, that's pretty much actually the minimal waffle I can go a bit further but yeah you just give it a try like there's a lot of example here that and maybe at some point if I ran out of ideas I can just go over all this and try to break it down there are so many examples so many um, like a little bit like more complex examples but uh, like this one dancing notes give it a try and then see what it does and see if you can understand what's going on but uh, that's uh, practically the waffle setup right it's not not too complicated um, once uh, of course this is something that the architects or industrial designers like to uh, to have because you can print it out of course there is a, a 3d printer but uh this kind of structure like waffle and there's also like a like a rattan structure it's a all kind of design all kind of ways designers able to generate like a 3d structure i think i'm not a i'm not a an architect i'm not a like a designer either i'm just like graphic designer I have my graphic designer background but uh this kind of thing like even like being able to look at the wireframe is kind of like a ways to turn um like a virtual objects into like a real objects so in our case with a with a waffle structure of course waffle structure is interesting you can use laser cutting use metal or maybe like a cardboard or wood you can create a real objects like this there are actually toys that's using this kind of structure this is really good um, in my I maybe I give you a link but I have I made a video of the sculpture uh, that I I saw the other day that looks kind of similar to this and you can create this using blender and if you if you don't have cardboard yet you can just export it out as a as AR maybe for now so yeah but that's a that's a waffle basically waffle structure hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye